All right, uh, I'm going to talk about vascular tumors next. Uh, primarily, be cutaneous vascular tumors because, in fact, that's where you actually see most of them. I'm going to start with epithelioid vascular tumors, including um, epithelioid hemangioma, uh, otherwise known as angiolymphoid hyperplasia with the eosinophilia, a relatively new entity called cutaneous epithelioid angiomatous nodule. Then we'll talk about tumors of intermediate malignancy, and we'll end with epithelioid angiosarcoma. So epithelioid hemangioma usually occurs in young adults and classically on the, on the skin of the head and neck, especially behind the ear, although certainly you can see osseous and intravascular forms as well. They tend to be solitary or multiple in the same uh, region. In fact, that's very common for bone uh, versions of epithelioid hemangioma to actually be multifocal within a, a given bone. Microscopically, you see a proliferation of, of capillaries, often surrounding a larger damaged vessel in the base of the lesion, and these capillaries are lined by epithelioid endothelial cells. You frequently see lymphoid aggregates uh, with admixed eosinophils, but you don't always see uh, those features. Of course, they're positive for endothelial markers by immunohistochemistry, but the pitfall is, and, and this applies to essentially any epithelioid vascular neoplasm, is that they can sometimes be positive for cytokeratin. So here's a fairly typical example of an epithelioid hemangioma. You can see these prominent lymphoid aggregates, but then you get the sense of we have this hemorrhagic lesion sort of deep to that. Here's a different case, again, showing really prominent lymphoid aggregates, and if you're not careful, you might confuse this with cutaneous lymphoid hyperplasia or even possibly a cutaneous follicle center cell lymphoma. But you have to look a little more closely, and you can see these capillaries lined by these very plump epithelioid endothelial cells. Just a higher power picture, you can see these capillaries lined by very plump epithelioid endothelial cells, a lot of cytoplasm, and here you can see the admixed eosinophils that you commonly but not invariably see. Just a higher power picture, and I want to point out the nuclei uh, of these cells. The, the, the endothelial cells have pretty big nuclei, but they have this nice fine chromatin pattern with a sort of a single small nucleolus, and just sort of keep that in mind, and I'll refer back to that, that feature in a little bit. Um, again, sometimes at the base of these lesions, you will see a, a damaged vessel, uh, and then the epithelioid capillary is sort of spinning off from it. There is an intervascular form.